Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be discussing two famous children who stole the spotlight over the years with a gradual transformation. Curious to find out who they are? We'll give you a hint. They are the offspring of the 44th President of the United States. We are talking about Malia and Sasha. In this video, we'll be discussing the stunning transformation of the Obama sisters, from child to adulthood. So stick around as we unpack everything there is to know about these two. First up, where did it all begin? The two sisters were only ages 7 and 10, with Malia being the older one when their father was elected for the presidency of the United States in 2008. Ever since that fateful day, the lives of the two changed drastically. From not being famous at all to growing up in front of the whole world's eyes, both Malia and Sasha begin their transformative journeys. And as all celebrities, the two had the opportunity and the means to redefine style. Over the years, their fashion sense and style bloomed to give us some spectacular looks to look back at and be in utter awe. From presidential events to Christmas occasions, they served looks one on top of the other. The moment that marked the beginning of this long presidential journey was the 2008 Democratic National Convention, and the Obama sisters had center stage. The family of four put on ensembles of rich magnetic purple hues, and the sisters, at the time only 7 and 10, made their first celebrity appearance. Throughout this one event, both Sasha and Malia embodied grace and style, and set the stage for all future events. It was truly a remarkable moment, which we're sure both remember fondly. Next up, getting used to the glam. Now that the sisters had had their first big fashion moment, they were ready to really season their style. The next big event for them to showcase their sleek style was on a Inauguration Day. This was Barack Obama's first presidential inauguration held in January of 2009. My fellow citizens, I stand here today humbled by the task before us. The girls stepped out in fiery wool coats complete with winter accessories, such as scarves and gloves. They looked nothing short of royalty. The outfits were specially designed for Sasha and Malia by J. Crew. Malia, being the older one, wore a more subtle sapphire blue, whereas her younger sister went with warm tones of pink and orange. J. Crew is quite a favorite of the family, who have returned to it time and again for glorious new outfits. It seems the two have a mutual give and take relationship, because after the sisters were seen wearing J. Crew, the company's stocks jumped almost 10%, resulting in a temporary website crash. Talk about setting trends. We don't know about you, but we certainly would have stormed J. Crew stores. Next up, how about some sportswear? Formal wear is not the only strong suit of this family, and this was made quite evident in 2009. This was when the White House formally announced that the Obama family would accept a gift from Senator Ted Kennedy. This gift was a Portuguese water dog, which was later given the name Bo. Soon after, on April 14th, pictures surfaced on the internet of Sasha and Malia running around the south lawn of the White House with Bo, with a leash around his neck. This was the first time the sisters were seen dressed casually in sportswear, but formal or informal, the sight was still absolute class. Even President Obama can be seen in these pictures, although he's completely suited and booted. Here's a fun fact for you. It is easy to assume that a president's daughter would be spoiled with riches, but that is certainly not the case for Sasha and Malia. The Obamas have made active efforts to keep their daughters grounded in reality, even while they were living in the White House. So much so, they wouldn't even give their girls presents on their birthdays, and the expenses alone at the birthday parties were perceived as enough gifts for the occasion. Bo, however, was said to have been the prize for their patience. The dog was named after tribute to Bo Diddley because Michelle's father went by the nickname of Diddley. Moving on, we have the Sunday Best. On September 19, 2010, the sisters along with their parents paid a visit to St. John's Episcopal Church, which was formerly known as the Church of the Presidents. Of course, this marked a momentous occasion, and the two dressed with immaculate sophistication. Both sisters wore floral dresses, along with soft-colored cardigans, and looked divine. Next up, the Christmas in Washington concert. In 2011, the 30th annual Christmas in Washington concert was held held at the National Building Museum, where the Obama sisters once again stole the show in their extremely vibrant and graceful attire. They stood at the front row along with their parents and sang along to the Christmas tunes. This event was joined by many A-list celebrities such as Justin Bieber, CeeLo Green, and Jennifer Hudson. So naturally, this might have been quite a night for both Sasha and Malia in their holiday frocks. At this event, Malia was all of 13 years and stunned in a mustard yellow satin dress with bell-shaped sleeves that drape her arms. The dress was designed by Elizabeth and James, and she styled it with a silver chain-like necklace. As for the little one, who was only 10 at the time, she wore a lavender dress that looked like a ballerina dress, full of puffiness and flair. Even at the age of 10, Sasha seems to be giving strict competition to her older sister. Now, what about the price tag? Being the president's daughters, you may 
be inclined to believe that every outfit they ever pulled must have cost thousands of dollars or hundreds in the least. That is certainly not the case for the Obama sisters. It seems their parents passed down all the best morals in the family and taught their daughters that a price tag wasn't everything. Time and again, the daughters were seen wearing ordinary and affordable clothes made by everyday UK shopping brands that anyone could afford. One example of this would be the family trip to the Nickelodeon 25th Annual Kids' Choice Awards back in March of 2012. At the event, both sisters wore ensembles by the UK brand ASOS. According to fashion experts, Sasha's monoprint dress cost a meager $75, whereas Malia's leather belt cost only $36. This is a very humbling fact that we were pleased to know, because nowadays money seems to be able to buy anything, but humility has no price. It is still only available to very few. Next up, as time passed on, with time, both Sasha and Malia grew up with extreme poise and sophistication. Starting from vibrant pink dresses, which they first wore to their father's inauguration, the sisters went on to showcase some of the finest fashion pieces in all kinds of events. And because they grew up in front of the screen, every outfit has been saved in the archives of the internet. From blue H&M affordable dresses to wearing custom-made luxury items, the Obama sisters saw it all and definitely wore it all. On the second inauguration day, which marked the second term of President Obama in office, the four-year-long change in both the sisters' personalities and self-identity was evident in the way their styles changed. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability. And will, to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. At the second inauguration, Malia wore J. Crew once again, whereas Sasha opted for Kate Spade. After all, consistency is key, and maybe they wanted a throwback moment. We know we would have. Next up, international style. On their first trip to China, on an official visit to meet President Xi Jinping and his wife, all three of the Obama ladies chose to wear different shades of red. And in their pictures, they can be seen standing in Chinatown, which itself is adorned with shades of red. These crimson red dresses seem to be a perfect choice, as both daughters quickly snagged up all the headlines. In fact, the outfit that Malia was wearing was $112, two-tiered floral pattern from Topshop. When news hit the internet, the dress was sold overnight out of all the stores. On another occasion, in the summer of 2015, the girls arrived in Milan, Italy, dressed in effortless and chic sundresses, and looked ready to hit the runway. Next up, the ongoing transformation. Be it international fashion or cottagecore everyday outfits, the sisters definitely know how to carry themselves in the most graceful of manners and remain ethereal. But that being said, they also know how to throw it back and relax and comfortable everyday clothes which are accessible to everyone because even famous people get tired of keeping up with appearances and need to live a simple life every once in a while. Now both sisters are grown up, have graduated from university, and are on their way to making a place in the world for themselves. But the style is as fresh and ever-present as it was all those years ago. That's all for today's video, folks. We hope you admire the transformation journeys of both sweethearts. After all, growing up under such surmountable pressure of keeping up with traditions and facing public scrutiny is no easy feat. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And we'll see you all next time with a fresh new video.